For many people in Kenya, everyday life involves cooking on a traditional three-stone fire. This method is very inefficient, with much of the heat wasted. The process is often slow and uses a lot of wood to cook even the most simple meal. In urban areas, wood for the fuel has to be purchased, depleting the family's already low incomes. In more rural areas, the wood is taken directly from the local surroundings, leading to deforestation and an increased workload for the family. As most families cook indoors in Kenya, there are serious health issues associated with smoke inhalation in a confined space. Carbon offset experts CO2 Balance have been working for many years to develop low carbon alternatives to the traditional three stone fire. From an initial concept, the designs have been refined to meet the needs of the people whilst making minimal change to the way they already live and at the same time deliver the maximum carbon reduction. The final perfected design being known as the rocket stove. Before any stoves are built in an area, a lot of field work has to be done to both inform the local population about the opportunity and to satisfy the strict requirement of the CDM or gold standard certification for carbon reduction. This includes visiting the homes in the project areas to measure the amount of firewood used in the weeks leading up to installation. The locally recruited data collectors also help to explain the benefits of the new stove to the villagers and post-installation to continue to measure the fuel consumption, the reduction of which enables the project to be classed as a carbon offset program. It's necessary to conduct these tests in every district as a separate exercise, as the fuel source can vary, for example, in average moisture content within the wood. Also, the typical foodstuffs and cooking methods do vary between village to village and these have an effect on the amount of fuel consumed and therefore the actual carbon reduction that can be achieved. The help and cooperation of the communities within which CO2 Balance operate is an essential part of the successful adoption of these projects. Once recruited and trained, the local data monitors help to select the households eligible to receive a new stove. This is determined by a number of criteria including the number of people in the household, the location of the stove, the type of fuel and the availability of fuel, including any evidence of deforestation. This house in a remote village shows clear evidence of the long-term effects of smoke from an open fire. The stoves are provided free of charge to the householder and constructed using local materials and labour to meet the exacting standards of the CO2 balance team. With cooking styles very similar to that of the three stone fire, adoption of the new stoves is very quick and easy. Here Siddiqui, one of the CO2 balance local contacts, talks to a household about the effects the new stove has on their daily lives. Yeah, at Mama Mwanamko's place, but the house of other person, which she also benefited the rocket stove with her. Okay, she's saying that the, the rocket stove cooks very fast. When she puts some chapati there, it takes a short time for people to consume the final touch of chapati. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's very, very, very fast, other than using a three-stone stove. She's saying also that the, she consumes small firewood, very little firewood, other than using the three-stone stove. And also the, the smoke, it's limited, whereby the bricks, when get hot, it starts cooking by itself, so it doesn't need a lot of fire to cook. She also says that it doesn't dirtify the, the cooking pot. Other than using the three stone, it also dirtifies the cooking pot, gets black all over the surface. Yeah, yeah, the cooking pot. But the rocket stove, it doesn't dirtify the cooking pot. It gets whiter and whiter when you wash it just a little bit, it gets whiter. Yes, the smoke, it saves firewood. Yeah, it saves water for washing the, the cooking pot. Yeah. I think that the smoke, other than the, using the three stone, 
infect the children by the smoke, coughing, the running nose. But using the rocket stove, it doesn't removes all, all, all many many smokes. You know, it minimizes the smoke coming out from the jiko. So there is no any infection from the kids or the person who is cooking there. With the average Kenyan wage at two pounds fifty a day. The assistance from the Toshiba Carbon Zero Scheme makes a real difference to people's lives. The only thing you have to do is choose Toshiba for your next MFP.